さんおはようございますまきおです今日はこちらのカウンターカルチャーにやってまいりましたここは一見コーヒーショップのように見えるんですけれども実はとコーヒーに関するトレーニングセンターになっているそうですコーヒーに関する先生をやっている花さんにお越しいただきましたどうぞ I'm excited to make some coffee with you this morning Yes, please So we have a couple different coffee options and I think the coffee we're going to start out with is one of my favorites It's called Jabonto Natural So we're going to be having a coffee that tastes really fruity super delicious、mm. And you're gonna help me brew it. Have you ever brewed coffee before?、Uh, mm. Well, I love having people who are new to brewing coffee <laughs> and who are just excited about coffee and、mm -hmm. excited about tasting、yeah. coffee. When we are brewing coffee,、mm -hmm. there are a few things for us to think about how much water we use and how much coffee we use.、Okay. So, in this case, we are going to use a little brew ratio of 1 to 16.、Okay. I like to use 30 grams. It's going to allow us to brew about 16 ounces of coffee.、Mm -hmm. um, what we're using right now is called a Kalita.、Okay. Right? So,、okay. yeah. a little Kalita is、I、a、had. Japanese brewer.、Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice because it's flat on the bottom.、Mm -hmm. But it's meant to be a really even way to brew the coffee.、Mm -hmm. With coffee, it's having something that isn't brewed very well、mm -hmm. or done unevenly.、Mm -hmm. This is going to be a little bit easier for、yeah. us. Brewing our coffee, we have to grind it up. You can't just brew whole beans.、Mm -hmm. Your sense of smell is really, really closely connected to your sense of taste.、Mm -hmm. If you want to go ahead and smell them. When we're making a pour over like this, where we have water pouring over the coffee,、mm -hmm. we usually have something not too, not too big, where、mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit more like a table salt. If you can pinch it together and it sticks, that's probably too fine. But if it is like big rock salt particles,、mm -hmm. then it's way too coarse、oh. and it'll run really, really fast.、Okay. Here at Counterculture, we have a little taster's flavor wheel, a tool that we have to really help. Work on developing the words that we use. The way that this flavor wheel works is we start in the middle and then we start to work our way、uh -huh. out. Sometimes we have some fruity notes. Maybe this coffee smells a little bit fruity, almost like dried fruits. o k a s o r like a strawberry candy、uh -huh. is kind of what I'm, I'm reminded of. So that would be really in that fruit zone. Okay. Other common flavors. Will be things like chocolate, maybe this taste smelled a little bit sweet, and then we have nuts, grain cereals, rose, spice, savory, a little more green, greenery, <laughs> and floral. Every single category that we have can get more and more specific. It's always good to just be like, oh, first thing, maybe there's some fruit.、Yeah. Then you can decide, oh, maybe it's more like a berry. Or maybe more like a citrus. You can always try and get more and more and more specific. But step one, start in the middle, and that's coffee.、Mm -hmm. If we are to brew our coffee with water from home, what we want to do is bring the water to a boil and then let it cool down just a little bit. What we are going to do is preheat and rinse our filter.、Mm -hmm. One of the complaints that people have sometimes when they have pour over coffee is that. Or it cools down too fast.、Oh. I'm just getting this whole filter all wet. It's gonna get stuck to the sides of our brewer so it doesn't come up and get clumpy or anything. Everything is going to stay nice and there. Next thing I do, I'm going to. This is water that's about 205 degrees. Fahrenheit. We want to make sure the water is not super, super hot.、Uh -huh. We have filtered water. Even though we are using this water to brew the coffee and pull out the coffee stuff, it's mostly water what we're drinking. It's about 98% water. So, ensuring that I have really good water、mm. is so important. What I have right now is my scale in a slightly different mode so that I can have the time and the weight. I have my 30 grams. I'm gonna、mm -hmm. shake this around just a little bit,、mm -hmm. flatten everything out. Okay. okay. Tap the T、mm -hmm. to tear it out, make sure it's all zero.、Oh. And now, when I start pouring, so start the timer, the first thing I do is try and get all of this coffee evenly saturated with about 60 grams of water. First amount of coffee we had, 30 grams. I just、uh -huh. double it. Yeah. Right now, it, you can see it's really、uh, active. It's, it's bubbling, it's brewing, it's releasing all of these gases and carbon dioxide into the air. 
So we're kind of activating that coffee, that first yeah. brew. So the first pour is called the bloom. Mm. Now, around 35, 40 seconds or so, I'm gonna add my next mm. pulse of water. So what I'm doing is I'm working my way out from the center, okay. and I never want to pour directly on that paper filter. Mm -hmm. So I come out slow, I work my way back in, and I'm gonna stop when I've poured about 200, 200. grams. 200. So first pour, 60, 60 grams, wait 30 mm -hmm. seconds, and then I go to 200. Okay. But now, I'm not just watching my weight, or the time, I'm watching the water level. Mm -hmm. So you can see this water is sinking down, mm -hmm. and I need to ensure that my coffee bed is never dry. So what I do is I just wait for it to sink, and then I will add 150 grams more. Mm -hmm. So I start in the middle again, slowly work my way out, and as I increase the amount of coffee and water in this brewer, then I can work my way all the way out to the edges of this filter. Oh, okay. I'm going to stop when I have 350 grams. Mm -hmm. Still right now, I'm just keeping an eye on my water level. Mm -hmm. So as it sinks down about half an inch, a centimeter or so, that's when it's time for my next pour. Wow. <laughs> so start in the middle, work my way back out again, oh. and I swirl. My goal is to get all of the water in here by about two and a half minutes. Uh -huh. And then the coffee and water have about a minute or so to drip all the way through. Wow. Almost ready for the brew. And then you get to do it. <laughs> yeah. When we consider our brew time, it's really all of the time that your coffee and the water are together. Mm -hmm. So for this, it's as soon as we start pouring that water and as long as it is still dripping. Okay. Usually I'm aiming for a pour over like this and this kind of recipe for about three and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. like 500 gram recipe mm -hmm. will make a little bit more coffee. Um, so yeah. we're looking for somewhere between three and four mm -hmm. minutes. But if you have a much smaller brew, mm -hmm. like you're only making a little bit of coffee, mm -hmm. then we want to have something maybe closer to two to three minutes. Okay. Then we can see what our coffee bed tells us. So our goal is to have it be perfectly flat. Mm -hmm. Mine is not perfectly flat. One of the things that we want to do is we can work then on the next brew to make sure we're going totally in those circles. Mm -hmm. So what I can see is, oh, I pour a little bit more forward. <laughs> so then you learn about yourself when mm -hmm. you're brewing some coffee. This is all done. And now I can just close this up. And then you can brew some coffee. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> a little shake to flatten everything out. And we'll tap that T. So we'll tear out the scale. We're going to aim for about 60 grams. And there uh, we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> Work your way out in the circle. Full. <laughs> your first pour uh, over. Keep going. Almost there. Almost. Okay. So next, we're, now we just watch this. Uh, uh, Perfect. Uh, 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 it's very similar to wine, mm -hmm. right? Where there are all these organic compounds present in the coffee, but some of them we are able to access more when it is dry, but it's really with that water is when we start getting a lot more of those coffee experiences to come through. So it's always nice to smell your coffee both dry and then as you're brewing it and when it's wet. Perfect. Yay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now that it's stopped dripping, I always want to swirl the coffee up mm. because when we're brewing the coffee, you are going to be pulling out different layers of flavor. And that'll help us make sure that we have all of those coffee flavors nice and mixed up together. Yeah. Should we taste some coffee? Yes. Okay. <laughs> It's not bitter. Yes, maybe a little bit more fruity. Yeah. It's very smooth. So when I taste coffee too, I kind of slurp it up. Yeah. Because when I slurp it, then I can have all of the flavors get sprayed more around your mouth. And you have flavor receptors mm -hmm. and texture receptors all over your mouth. So it's going to be a good way to taste it. So you said it's not bitter, yeah, which is bitter. excellent. Yeah. But we have this balance. So we can actually get some, maybe we're kind of hanging out there's some, maybe some sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe almost even like syrup. If I get a little bit of that kind of nice, sweet, but also a lot of fruit. 
Sometimes I think about it almost like a color first, where I would be like, oh, is it a bright fruit like the citruses, you know, oh. orange and yellow? Or is it something maybe a little darker, like a peach or a mm. plum or a berry? And you know, for me in this coffee, I feel like I get some of those kind of darker purpley, like bright yeah. and sunshiny is yes, how I think of a lot bright. of those, those like really high citrus flavors. Uh, okay. Do you have a, anything that maybe stands out to you? Orange. <laughs> Orange, yeah, yeah. Those tropical fruits. Like a sweet and fruity. We can try and avoid getting any bitterness mm -hmm. by making sure that our brew time and our grind size is correct. If our coffee is always, always, always lingering and bitter, chances are our grind size is way too fine. So in this case, we have that nice kind of salt mm -hmm. version, but if our grind size is so fine that all we have left in our brew bed is mud, it's gonna be kind of a muddy flavor and really <laughs> bitter and lingering. If our coffee takes over, you know, four minutes to brew for this recipe, mm -hmm. it may be not as pleasant. Okay. Our goal is to figure out, okay, how do we brew the best coffee for our taste? Mm -hmm. If we ever want to speed things up and make our coffee run faster, you just make your grind coarser. Mm -hmm. So you have bigger particles that the water can just pass through. The counterculture this year is our 25th anniversary. It's very, very exciting. カウンターカルチャーのコーヒートレーニングセンターは全米で13カ所あり、パンデミック前は各トレーニングセンターでコーヒーに関するレッスンも行っていました。しかし現在は主にオンラインを使ったレッスンも行っているそうです。ここディープ
今まで公平式の方はたくさん飲んでいらっしゃったと思うんですけれども改めて公平について知ることでより一層コーヒーが美味しく感じられますね「エクセズミダラス」ではアメリカダラス生活に関する情報を発信していますまだチャンネル登録されていらっしゃらない方はこちらチャンネル登録をお願いしますカウンターカーチャーのコーヒー美味しそう飲んでみたいと思う方は高評価いいねボタンいただけると嬉しいですそれではまた次の動画でお会いしましょうさよなら